Good morning, everyone. Happy Monday. I literally just finished my um, little morning vitamin routine, but I did film it for stories. And I was going to film my reaction to having that like herbal concoction, but I just completely forgot to vlog. But I'll vlog it tomorrow or even tonight because I have to have it twice a day. It is like, it's not getting easier. I've done it for maybe four or five days now. And every time I'm like, it's so gross. Anyways, my video this morning, I don't know what happened. I think it may have like, I don't know, maybe the Wi-Fi cut out and it freaked out, but I woke up with the video on 96%. And I was like, oh, okay, maybe it's just gone slow and it'll be up any minute. And I waited and I waited and I waited because usually I upload 5 a.m. Perth time. And yeah, I woke up around seven and it still hadn't uploaded. And I was like, oh, here we go again. And then I waited a bit and it just wasn't moving. So obviously like something interrupted the upload process. So I deleted it and it's still uploading and it's 11.50. Um, but yeah, I'll, it'll obviously just go up whenever it uploads. But yeah, sorry about that because I know a lot of people, I don't know, rely on my videos first thing in the morning to, yeah, motivate them to start the week. But yeah, anyways, happy Monday. I... What did I do this morning? I woke up, packed some orders, had breakfast. I've been, I haven't shown you guys in the vlog. I've been loving buckwheat actually, instead of oats. Um, so yeah, that's what I've been having for breakfast. So I've just been having my usual, and but instead of the oats, I'll use buckwheat. I still add protein in it and all of my toppings. But yeah, I soak the buckwheat overnight because I think it cooks quicker if you soak it in water. Otherwise it would take ages on the pot. So I just um, measure out a serving, which is I think like 50 grams or something, put it in the pot that I'm gonna um, use to cook it with the next day, add some water and a little bit of hot water, um, and then just cover it and leave it in the pot overnight. And then the next morning before you're about to cook it, you just rinse it like in a strainer. Um, apparently, sometimes you can get, it can like become a bit like jelly and like that can come off it. For me, I don't really get that. Maybe because my buckwheats are already activated or I don't know, maybe I don't need to soak them, but um, yeah, mine don't form like any sort of jelly from them being soaked. Maybe it's just the brand that I've used, but um, yeah, I've just done it anyways because it still takes ages to cook, maybe like three times the amount of time. Um, that it takes me to cook oats, but that's all right. It actually tastes like quinoa to me. Like it's, I don't know. It's kind of like, it's weird. It doesn't really have like a, a, a taste, but like the actual texture just kind of reminds me of like almost rice because it's a bit hard, um, but it's cooked. But yeah, it's not like a soft, creamy texture like oats is. But yeah, I'm really enjoying it. And buckwheat is really, really good for you. So yeah, I've been doing that i'll film that tomorrow morning for you guys because i completely forgot that you haven't seen that but um yeah that's what i've pretty much been doing today i'm about to go and do a home workout um we're still in lockdown here in perth but we can still go to the gym i think there's like a 20 um person limit but there's no sort of group classes happening um but tomorrow everything should be back to normal. But yeah, I couldn't go to Pilates or anything or do my usual arena class, which is what I would normally do on a Monday. So I just decided to skip the gym because like if I was just to go alone, I will just do cardio on the treadmill and I want to do some sort of high intensity HIIT training. So I'm going to do this one, I think. I've got my tripod there because I'll um, film it. But yeah, this one's a 45 minute Tabata workout to torch calories. So I just thought... That would be a good one. Majority of the workout is standing and like jumping and stuff like that, which I feel like I need. I need to get moving. So yeah, I'm going to go do that. And then I'm going to go have a shower and wash my hair. And yeah, that's just a little update from me today. And I will catch up with you guys later.
made my green smoothie and I'm about to jump on a call with my manager. I've got music playing in the background. Um, just to talk, little chit chat, catch up sesh. She's literally gonna call me anytime. I'm freezing by the way. Didn't even take this off for my workout. It wasn't, not gonna lie, it wasn't the best workout I've ever done. I've definitely done better ones on YouTube, but at least I still got up, moved my body, got shit done. I might, actually no, probably not because I don't want to line up at the gym. I was going to say I might go to the gym and do some steps, but there is a 20, um, oh, she's calling. Hello. Hi, how are Hi, you? Hi, good. How are you? I'm good. I feel like we haven't spoken in so long. What happened last time? It literally took like two months. Yeah, I know. It was crazy. Let me know if you don't get it before you go to Queensland and I will apply that with them. I've worked with them yeah. before, yep. But that was, I think that was just stories though, not any like um, feed posts or anything like that. It was just stories. Let me know, we can push that back for you. Okay, what was the, what was, when was the first one due? Um, the first one's due on the 12th, so I think that Oh, that should be all right. Next. Good morning everyone. Happy Tuesday. Um, I just finished my gym session with Hayley. We did lower body and I decided to do some running after. Um, I just did some like interval running on the treadmill because I have stuff to do today. I've got to go drop off um, my parcels from orders from last night and then I'm going to actually go and get a facial today at, is it a do and Dota Spa and Dota I think so the green I don't know it's like a green spa chain um, in Australia I'm pretty sure but yeah I'm gonna go get a nice I think it's called like an organic fusion facial can't even remember last time I actually got a facial like a proper facial apart from when I went to skin fairy a few months ago but yeah I'm gonna go and do that today um, what else is on the agenda? I don't really have that busy of a day. I need to look at flights as well because I'm planning on leaving next Wednesday or Thursday. It just depends. My reunion is on the Friday, um, but I'm like hoping to be there like one or two days before. Hopefully two days, but it's always cheaper when you book throughout the week rather than a Friday, like flights. Um, and we're just gonna book two one ways because we just have no idea like what is happening in the world. Um, so I just think it's best to just book a one way for now. And then I don't know, like we can just book the return whenever. But I am planning to be there for a few weeks. Like I said, I've got my friend's wedding as well. So yeah, that's the plans for today. I'm excited to go get my facial. I'm gonna go home and wash my hair actually. That's what I need to do as well. Um, and yeah, I'll catch up with you guys later, probably when I'm making breakfast. Okay, I'm back home now. I'll do an unboxing later on. I'm just gonna have to have breakfast now. I need to sort through some returns. And I just got my Princess Polly order. And I literally ordered this. Well, they ordered it for me um, two days ago. And it's already here from Gold Coast. Like they 100% are the quickest shipping I've ever experienced in my life. It's crazy. Um, I'm going to do a reel on Instagram so you'll see the outfits. But I'm actually really excited for this because there's so many cute new stuff. 
Oh my God, I'm excited. I wanted to open it because I ordered a puffer. Well, I ordered two puffer jackets and I have a new discount code. I don't know what it is though, but I'll leave it on the screen. It's not like sponsored or like this part of the vlog isn't sponsored, but I obviously do work with them, but it's not an affiliate code or anything. Um, is this the long one? Yes. I've always wanted like a long coat like this. And I can't justify spending like, how much are the Kathmandu ones that look like this? So expensive and they kind of look the same. I got this one in a size 12. I'm actually glad that I got a 12 in it because it's quite tight on the arms. Well, not tight, but it's not like oversized. I love it. I probably wouldn't wear it with this though. I'll just wear it like that. <gasps> I love it. But yeah, it's a full length. Can't probably see. It's a full length jacket. Love it. And then I got another um, just plain black puffer, sort of similar to the one that I was just wearing, which was also from Princess Polly. I'm keen. This one. I'm obsessed with puffers. Yeah, this one's really nice. It's, I think it's the same. It looks the same as the um, beige one that I have. I got it in a size medium to large. Yeah, it does feel the same. So now I've got a black one. I'm obsessed. They're so warm as well. Jazz X PP20 in caps. If you guys want to shop, but yeah, you'll see my looks in a reel on Instagram very soon. I like them up tomorrow actually. Um, but yeah, I'm going to go and make some breakfast, wash my hair. Actually, I might go have a shower first and wash my hair and then, um, have breakfast. But yeah, I just want to show you guys those cute new jackets that I got. And yeah, I will. Oh, by the way, this one is from Lorna Jane. I got a few messages on Instagram when I wore it. It's just got that detail down the side but yeah um okay i'm gonna go for a shower now So I'm back from my, I got an organic fusion facial and it was actually so relaxing. I didn't actually realize that they give you a little like, like upper body and hand massage. So yeah, it was really relaxing. Um, they only used organic products and like essential oils. And I just felt so relaxed. And like, like I said, the massage, like was the icing on the cake. Like it was so nice. Um, so yeah, I've just come back. I was going to get my brows done, but I thought I'll just pluck them and then maybe go next week before I go away. So they're nice and fresh. Just made my green smoothie. I can never get it the same consistency and taste every time I, um, make it. I might need a measure, but, um, yeah, it's really like watery and kale this time. But maybe my kale leaf was bigger today than it was yesterday because it was a lot more like smoother not like watery chunky bits but anyways i'm getting used to having one of these every day um but yeah that's where i just went i'm gonna go and hang up all of my new princess polly stuff and yeah just get on top of the recycling so it doesn't pile up also we started watching was it called sex tape or sex life what was it called? I think it's sex tape. No, that sex show on Netflix. And oh my God, it's intense. We haven't watched episode three yet, but I'll let you guys know when I do, because apparently there's a scene in that episode that's like, what the fuck? So 
<laughs> yeah, we've started watching that. Also watching Love Island and like I love those kinds of reality shows like Too Hot to Handle. We finished that in like a few days. Um, but yeah, I love Love Island as well. But yeah, we started watching that new Netflix show. Um, yeah, that's pretty much all I have to update you guys on. I'm not sure what I'm going to have for lunch. Um, I kind of feel like avocado on toast, maybe with an egg or something like that. I kind of feel like something breakfasty for lunch. By the way, this outfit is from Saski Collection. I bought it when they dropped their toweling collection. I had to get it in every color because it's just like the perfect outfit when you just don't know what to wear to appointments or just like out. Um, yeah, I'm like literally obsessed with these. I literally live in them all the time. Um, what was I going to say? I was going to say something, but now I've forgotten. But yeah, I'm going to go through all of my Jazz Handmade returns. I'll show you guys what was in that massive package that I got before. And yeah, they did um, tell me to actually, I think I've got it still here. Yes, I've got my roller. To use a gua sha or a jade roller tonight because the facial that I did was kind of almost like lymphatic drainage like in my face and neck so she highly recommended i use this for the next three days or just to use it in general it's really really good um like i said for lymphatic drainage on the face i used to use this all the time remember like i was constantly using it this one was from sea sun it's got like two ends this one's ribbed and this one's soft but you keep it in the fridge and it's so cold but yeah i don't even know why i stopped using it but it honestly like completely changes the look of your face when you wake up in the morning like as soon as you roll your face you look you look different it's literally an instant facelift i don't even know why i stopped using it but um yeah she inspired me to start using this again because she just yeah she just raves about it or even a gua sha which i think i have but i don't think i have it in the fridge but um yeah i'm gonna start doing this every day to my face um yeah that's it. Yeah, I'm gonna go try and finish this green juice, even though it's not like, it's not the best consistency today. I wanna know why that it tasted like shit. I forgot to add my half an apple and half an orange. I was like, it just tastes green and yuck and it tastes 10 times better. Oh my God, so glad I realized. I just made some lunch. I've got some every my avocado and I now buy organic eggs and they actually, I don't know if it's just in my head, but they taste so much better and they're definitely a lot more orange. And especially when I make scrambled eggs, they look bright orange. Um, I just get them from Woolies. And then this is some of the makeup that I just unboxed from ColourPop. I guess it's their new collection. And I also received my Cinnamon Oyster and Riley Collab candles. So she's got two of them available. This one says you are worthy, loved and hot. And her other one says, which is black, I put over there says um you're so much more than just your body they smell amazing as always um but yeah that's her mum's business and she just released a collab with them so yeah I'm gonna go and have this and then sort through the returns Tonic shot. Oh, cute. She's doing a little time lapse. Oh, that didn't last long. Um, yeah, I'm just watching a vlog. I'm gonna shot my tonic and show you guys how fucked it is. Um, 
So I mix it with like the littlest bit of water. That's probably too much. That's all right. Riley needs mum. She's doing a declutter. My mum would be in heaven at her house. <laughs> Legit. So I'm just making my genora because I need some sort of chaser and I find that this chaser is perfect when I'm having that. So. I'm going to mix that. I brace myself. Block my nose, breathe out. So this on TikTok. I can still taste it. It's foul. That's how I take this. I do it twice a day, morning and night, and it's foul. Um, Peter just got home, he's having a shower. I might go tan, use him to tan my back, because I did exfoliate um, when I got home. So I, yeah, I'll probably chat to you guys tomorrow unless I'm making something nice for dinner. I don't even know what I'm gonna make. I could just make a burrito bowl or something like that with quinoa or couscous. I'm not too sure yet. But if I make something nice, I'll show you guys. Good morning. I've got a fresh tan on. I feel amazing. Peter's still asleep, so that's why I'm like whispering. Um, yeah, put a fresh tan on last night wearing some new active wear. This is one of the pieces that I got from Lorna Jane the other day. I actually love it. It's a cute little crop. And then these are Cara Lee. I forgot how comfy these are. Um, leggings so I haven't worn them in a while I don't know if I'm gonna eat something before the gym or do I have a pre-workout and be lazy by the way it's freezing I don't know why I don't have a jumper actually be right back I'm gonna get one I can wear my black puffer oh my god it's so warm um yeah I don't know if I want to eat something I need to leave in literally like 10 minutes or five ten minutes would be pushing it so I might just make up a pre-workout I don't know. Um, yeah, I might just have some. But yeah, I just try not to have caffeine. I'm just going to have one teaspoon. But I feel like if I don't have this or if I don't eat anything, I don't really have that much energy to work out. And it's not a good session. When I do have this, though, I do have a good session. It makes me focus a bit more and just like push myself. But yeah, I just can't be bothered making food to give me energy. This tastes so good. So yeah, I actually can't remember the last time I had a pre-workout, maybe two or three weeks ago. I don't have it often, mainly because of the caffeine aspect of it. And um, I, I wouldn't say like I crash after it just because I don't, have um like normal coffee anymore i'm still on decaf and i love it i feel amazing on it i don't feel like i have to have a, another coffee in the afternoon because i'm tired like it's a really weird feeling because yeah i used to have two coffees a day one in the morning to wake me up and i had to have it and if i didn't have my morning coffee by like 12 i'd get headaches and like i'd be tired and grumpy it was like i literally had an addiction um, but ever since changing to decaf, I've never, I haven't experienced that, obviously. Like, I will sometimes have two coffees, like, just for the taste of it. But I don't, I wouldn't have the second coffee to be like, oh, I need to, like, I need to pick me up, if that makes sense. Um, but yeah, it's crazy how 
caffeine can do that to you. But today I've got to film a reel for Princess Polly, which I'm actually really excited for, slash I think it's gonna take hours because the video that inspired me looks so hard. So I'll let you guys know how I go. I need to pre-film some stories and upload two sets of stories. I don't normally do two ads in one day, but they just happen to like fall on the same day and I can't reschedule it now. I only really realized like two days ago and I was like, fuck. Um, I just don't like to like, yeah, clog my stories with too many ads. I might actually chuck on a crew neck so I don't wanna get this sweaty for when I have to film. Cause I sometimes just keep it on for half of the workout and then I start to sweat and I'm like, oh, that's my jacket. Okay. I will chat to you guys later. So I just finished filming my Princess Polly reel. And honestly, if I can pull off this editing, I may as well just quit my job and become a full-time video editor because it's actually gonna take me, like no joke, it'll take me days. And you'll know what I mean if I can edit it. It's gonna be so freaking hard and it's definitely gonna be the hardest reel. Filming wise, it wasn't too bad. It was just sort of like, I needed to be in the same position and if I was out of position, it wouldn't flow nicely if you get what I mean. But anyways, I just did a massive Princess Polly reel. I wanna show you guys this outfit because it makes me feel really good. I really like it, it's really stretchy. Um, I'll flip you guys around. But yeah, this is the outfit. I feel like when you have a matching set with this kind of cut it's really flattering on the waist so yeah i think this is two separate things so these are the pants and they're actually so stretchy and then this top which is kind of like the same material i don't know if it is a matching set or not but yeah i'm sure you guys will see it on my instagram and then i decided to use my wave wand and get my hair like this again because i don't know i just really like it it makes my hair look thick and full when it's not really so I need to go meet Peter at Woolworths because we need to do some shopping. Um, I also am going to head down to a market this weekend to get some organic fruit and veggies, which I'm excited for. I think it's open this Saturday and Sunday, but I might go on Saturday. Um, just whatever is closest to me. So I'm super excited for that. So thank you guys so much for all of your recommendations. I'm getting heaps of DMs about it. So yeah, I'm going to go and put a tracksuit on probably. I'm um, probably just keep my makeup on I can't be bothered taking it off and yeah go meet Peter at the shops So we just went grocery shopping. I thought I'd show you guys what we got. Peter just got his almond milk. Um, I wanna, like I said, I'm gonna get some fresh fruit and veg for my smoothies, which I actually haven't had today. Why is this on an angle? Um, I haven't had my green smoothie today, but I'm gonna make it now. Some spinach, celery, adjust that. My almond milk. Some onions, I got some cherry tomatoes, pumpkin. I'm gonna make roast pumpkin, I think, for lunch. And another one, because it was on sale. Some cumin, because I wanna make um, hummus, pine nuts. And then from the health food shop, we got some snow peas, some broccolini, carrots, to dip in the hummus and bok choy and i think there's another bag actually one second okay and the rest i got some tahini for the hummus chickpeas as well some almonds i'm gonna make a healthy caramel slice so almonds and cashews i think they're like the base of the caramel slice some quinoa so i don't have any and then that's just more almond milk for peter but yeah that's everything that i got um, wait, why didn't we get meat? Oh my God, we didn't get meat. I guess we still have some. Lol. I think Peter wanted to get steak or something. Guess what we forgot to get? You're gonna piss yourself. Just guess, we forgot something. 
Just like, have a look at everything on the table. Well, I didn't really plan to do anything there, so I don't know. What? Once you realise, you'll be like, what the fuck? I can't really tell me. Mate. I don't want mate. Oh. Thing. We can get oh, fish, chicken. I know that. I, know that. Oh. I did that on purpose because I got everything. You know, I got lamb, I got oh, meat, I got okay. steak, and I okay, got good. chicken on like There's just so much in there. I did I also picked up another parcel from the post office and I wasn't actually sure what this was going to be but after opening one thing I was like oh my god so then I got excited and wanted to vlog me opening it so I've just got my vase here that's from is it decor homewares or something like that that's where I got that one from but it's a whole bunch of little cute decor pieces so I've been on the hunt to try and find some like fake tulips how cute are they I can go in here oh my god cute I may need like a thinner maybe like a thinner vase or something just because it looks a bit funny oh actually it still looks cute so I got them and the brand is called Silk Air Silky Air um, I'll show you guys what else I got. Oh my god, I'm so excited. So it's like lamp that I really wanted. It's so... Oh my god, it's so cute. Look at it. Oh my god, amazing. And then this is what lights up. Stop it. It's so cute. So I got that. That I'll put next to my bed probably. Okay, that. And then oh yeah, I got another um colour of the chula. <gasps> Stop the pink ones. Do you reckon they'll look cool together? <gasps> that looks amazing! Those two colours. Sorry, the background's not very aesthetic. So there's them. <gasps> These candles. So then I got some twirly candles like this. Oh my god, how cute are they? I might put them in my little um, candle holders. So I got a couple of them. They're all like pastel-y colors. And then I'm an OG subscriber from way back. So inspiring to see how far you've come. Oh, she's given me a discount code, Jazz10 for 10% off. That is the company. So cute. Oh my God, there's so much in here I think these are candles these ones but I've never seen candles like this before got oh, this one let's see if I can how cute is that one okay and then we have like a tulip oh my god this flower pastel I feel like she sent me every single candle she had. This one's cool. It's a little... It's like a flower on an angle. Now I know what's going to go on my um, shelves in my makeup room. Oh, wrong way. Another like flower inspired one. Ooh. Body candle. Oh my god, cute. So we've got a little love heart one and then like little cloud ones. I'm gonna have to show you guys when I put it all down. Oh, let me just move this. So this is everything that I got. How cute are the tulips? They actually look real. Love them. There's some of the other candles that I got. I love these ones. I love all the pastel colors. But yeah, thank you so, so much. I feel like if I had a candle business or something like this, it would be this. That's the business there. 
so so cute good morning guys and happy thursday god this week has gone so quick let me just clean my lens because it looks dirty that's better um peter and i are actually just about to go and get our skin checked so we well we like to go every year but the last skin check like full body skin check was last february yeah last february so um we got a reminder february this year but i don't know what happened but um yeah we're gonna go get our full body skin check last time i went and got a skin check last february the doctor said because of our skin we both have like similar skin that we don't need to get checked every year like we can come back in five years and i was just thinking like that's a long time and like what if one of us develops something like i know we're not in the sun as much well peter's in the sun more than me because he's an electrician but yeah like it you can't just say, just come back in five years. After that appointment, I was like to Peter in the car, like, what if something happens within the next year and I don't go back and get my skin checked for another four years and, like, something that could have been avoided, like, can't be avoided anymore, if that makes sense. So, so yeah, I feel like five years is a long time in between skin checks and I would definitely recommend to go more often if you can't get there every year at least every two years um yeah i've got quite a few freckles i'm not worried about any in particular except i've got a really dark freckle behind my ear you've probably never seen it because it's at the back of my head um but i just want them to like have a look at that and just make sure that it's okay um he last time i got my skin checked he did say to like look out for any um abnormalities and stuff like that if it gets bigger which i can't really see because it's at the back of my head but i guess like you need to feel it and see if it like you know is raised or whatever and i feel like it's not i don't even know what side it's on i think it's on this side actually but um yeah so that's what we're doing today. So I would highly recommend if you haven't had a skin check in forever or you can't remember the last time, if you've never gotten your skin checked and you're out in the sun a lot or you've got family history, highly recommend. We're just going to Skin Check WA. Um, they've got heaps of clinics throughout Perth. So yeah, I just thought I would share. And I need to go get a new battery actually because this one is about to die. Hey guys, so I'm back home now. Finished the skin check. It went for about 15 or so minutes. And for those wondering, it does cost. So I think if you don't have Medicare, it's around $115, but then you get $40 back through Medicare if you've got a Medicare card. So it came to be around 80 bucks. Um, but yeah, it was all good. He said I don't have to come back for another year. If he did say that if I like can't make it in that year and it's a year and a half then that's fine i don't he's not really concerned about my skin um i didn't have any things that i need to look for the mole i didn't know it was a mole he said that this was a mole behind my ear and it's hereditary so i've probably had it since i was a child and yeah there's nothing to like be afraid of um with the mole he like checked it out and it was all good um but yeah it's just for peace of mind really because like i said my barker has a history of skin cancer so it's always just good to be safe and get checked so here's your reminder just to book in you can just literally google skin check places near me and yeah if you're in wa they've got a massive chain called skin check wa it's orange um but yeah it would just be in any state like it'd be very accessible for anyone i'm gonna make a coffee and i actually got a delivery yesterday and i'm really excited when i really shouldn't be but you know you're an adult when you get excited about receiving a bin yep i got a bin so this company reached out and was like hey we'd love to send you our new bin and i was like i mean i'm not gonna say no to a bin like obviously it's not just a bin it's an automated bin i'm not sure if i'm gonna replace this one that i have here in my kitchen or use this um as my bathroom bin because it is half the size so it is only small well not small maybe like a medium sized bin but i'll show you the difference between this one and the one that i have now the one that i have now is also an automated lid 
Um, and it was from Big W, but you can't get them anymore. Um, I sometimes still get questions asking. Yeah, I haven't seen them in Big W um, recently. So this is the bin and this is the size. You'll be able to see from the box. Let me just put my coffee on. I need a cup. sponsored by the way they just gifted it to me um i got a white one because i feel like white if i did keep it here would probably match better i watched a video and it actually like when the bin's full you press a button and it like what's it called it like what? it like sucks everything up and like like ties it for you so you just have to take it out and then it re wow. yeah, and then it lines the like realigns the bin. If that makes sense. It was just so hard to explain. So. And it charges as well, so it's not battery operated. So apparently, it lasts fifty hours. I mean, it's not like small, small. It could be a bit big for our um, bathroom, but then again, we don't really like. I don't really use that bin as much. Like, I'd just rather. I don't know, put big stuff like in the main bin. Um, but yeah, this is the bin. <laughs> um, let me have a look. I'll turn it on. Okay, I will charge it though. So yeah, it basically just opens like that. And then apparently if you want it to open for longer, you just hold that button or press it. But see how it's like... I wonder how much the actual bin liners cost because it's like a special, that's like you have to take that out. out. You have to take that out and I guess purchase their bin liners, but like cool concept. You don't have to, yeah. Like I wonder if you can refill it and then you press the button. But yeah, that's it. I'll show you the difference between, we'll give it a go and see if it's like, an okay size, but it's definitely too small. Too that. small. 100%. That, even that one's nearly too small. Nah, that one's that massive. Like, yeah, it feels like That's big. that one. I like the light on the inside. Ew. <laughs> yeah, you can definitely fit a lot in, so you have to go to the bin quite a bit. <laughs> Maybe we should put it in our bathroom then. Oh, I thought that's what you got for. Well, I kind of wanted a white bin for out here, but we'll just... Leave it up here and see what happens. But I'll show you guys when it... They don't make them anymore. Yeah, but it's a different model. Yeah. Um, I'll show you guys when it's full, how it, like, does it all for you. So, thank you so much. This is the brand. Hey, guys. Happy Friday. So, I went to the gym this morning. I actually did an arena class. It killed me, but it was really good. Came home, washed my hair, had breakfast. I actually bought... Like a haul, but I bought this bread. I've been wanting to buy it for ages, but like it's sixteen dollars. So it's a paleo, your grain free bread, um, almond and linseed. I just got it from the health food shop. To be honest, I thought it was just gonna taste like cardboard, um, because it doesn't really look that good. But it's actually really nice. It's just like really seedy. I had that with some avo every night and two eggs on toast. And I've been trying to think of like healthy-ish snacks that I can just easily get from the fridge. And I used to make, um, well, not used to, I've probably made it like two or three times, my own hummus. I think I just got a recipe online back then, but it's pretty similar to the one that I'm about to show you guys. I also found it online as well. So I'll share that on the screen here and I'm sure it'll be up on my Instagram as well. But... This is what you're gonna wanna need. So I don't actually have any more extra virgin olive oil. So I'm just gonna use this macadamia oil, but if you've got olive oil, use that. We've got, I've already squeezed my fresh lemon, a quarter of a cup of fresh squeezed lemon, garlic, tahini, chickpeas, cumin. Just bought some Celtic salt. Um, it's got really good health benefits as well. Pink Himalayan salt is still really good though, if you've got that. Um, and that's it. So I'm gonna just get the recipe up. 
it's super super easy if you've got a blender that's all you need um, i'm just gonna use I'm just gonna use my little magic bullet. Usually I use the Ninja. I just find it a lot stronger, even though it's like so loud. Um, but yeah, usually like with blending like my green smoothies and stuff like that, I feel like the Ninja is so much better because it's stronger. But this one's still okay. It's quite small though. But I'm just gonna pretty much go by the dimensions here. So 420 can chickpeas. Is this 420? 425 close enough so i'm just gonna drain these i'm gonna do a little reel as well or like even just insta stories yeah, i'm gonna film this on insta stories as well so one whole can of chickpeas honestly i hate chickpeas like i wouldn't eat one on their own but i love hummus like i don't know it just smells gross and yeah i don't like chickpeas also i made a really nice like raw caramel slice it doesn't really oh i guess it does because it's sticky from the honey but i made a really nice raw caramel slice yesterday i didn't want to film it just in case it turned out shit but it turned out amazing so i'll show you guys that and i'll obviously film it when i make another batch okay so we've got chickpeas let me just save that video oh did i save it yeah i did um chickpeas two tablespoons of tahini Again, I don't really like this. But what else do you really use this for? Um, so yeah, I don't really use tahini um, other than like, this recipe. So two tablespoons of tahini. All right, let's go. How am I going to do this for the... Right, let's just go. Why am I using scales? Is so hard okay so let's just get the tahini and go Ooh, let's just go one two this is gonna be the worst stories okay quarter cup of freshly squeezed lemon juice This is so hard. And then I don't have any extra virgin olive oil, so I'm just gonna use macadamia oil. Hopefully this is all right. But you also need a quarter cup. Uh, let's have a look. Yeah, a quarter cup of extra virgin olive oil. This is actually so hard. That. And we've got a clove of garlic. I'm just going to crush that finely. Oh, not really, actually. Get the green stuff out. Okay, chuck that in. Oop, I forgot to film that. Whoops. Half a teaspoon of cumin. So I've got some of this. I didn't even have this in my spices. So we've got, is it half a teaspoon? Yeah. Okay. And a quarter cup of filtered water. And then some Celtic salt. Chop up a carrot. Lost it. I'm so clumsy. 
just got some cat arts. All right, let's take this out. Yum, that actually looks so freaking good. I probably should have put it in a container, let's be real. But let's do a live taste test. Mmm. It just tastes 10 times better than the ones that you buy from the shops. I probably could have put more garlic in it, to be honest. I'd go two or three cloves of garlic. Mm. I reckon it needs like two or three cloves of garlic. But it's really nice. Maybe a little bit more salt. Maybe two or three big pinches of salt. But that is so good. I'm just going to finish my green smoothie. So I'm editing this vlog. I've got heaps of recycling to do, like cut down heaps of boxes. Why am I eating and talking? But yeah, I'm gonna go and also do my hair. I might take a few photos today actually that I need to post. Also, up there on that reel, I may as well show you guys now because um, will it be up? Yeah, it'll be up before the vlog. Oh my God. It literally took me maybe two days, obviously not nonstop, like I did it in like chunks, but I would say that video, I've never spent so much time editing a 10 second reel in my life. I'll show you guys. Yeah, hours because of the really short transitions and like, to make sure it all flowed as I was walking. Oh my God. But I really enjoyed doing it. Like it was actually fun to film. So yeah, go and leave a comment on my reel if you're coming from this vlog because yeah, it took me hours to do. But yeah, um, it's with Princess Polly and my discount code will be in the caption for 20% off. But um, yeah, that's all I have to really say. By the way, I put Genora in my green smoothie and it tastes so good. Why didn't I think of it earlier? It tastes amazing. Anyways, look at me being all healthy and shit, but honestly, no. Healthy whole foods always make me feel the best. It helps me concentrate. It just gives me so much energy. Like, I feel like my mind's clearer. I don't get brain fog. I don't get like, it's so weird and like I honestly would have never thought I would be on decaf. I know that that sounds really dramatic but I've literally been like a serial caffeine addict for like 10 years maybe. Like I've had coffee every day. Not that it's like necessarily a bad thing but obviously it's not the best when you're already stressed and um, run down and you've got everything going on because it just... It gives you anxiety. Um, not that I, that's the reason why I stopped having caffeine. I just genuinely wanted to see how my body would react. And yeah, like the first week was fucked, but since then I'm completely fine. I don't crash throughout the day and need a coffee pick me up and I need caffeine to like function for the rest of the day. I've got so much energy. I don't even need coffee to work out or like, I take pre-workout because I like the taste of it and sometimes I just feel like it. Um, and that's probably the only thing that I have that has caffeine in it. I don't take or don't have like no sugar. Oh, actually no, I haven't completely cut them out. Like every now and again, I'll have a Pepsi Max or a Coke Zero. They both have caffeine in them. Um, but ever since I started my like caffeine detox thing, I've completely pretty much cut them out of my diet. Um, and very rarely have them and i just feel amazing so yeah i highly recommend like it yeah it's just it just goes to show your body doesn't need caffeine to survive throughout the day like yeah i thought that's what my body needed to give me energy but it's not so yeah it's amazing 
how your mind just thinks that's the reason why you're getting all of this energy all of a sudden. Just wanted to share that also. Um, yeah, I'm gonna go finish this and I can taste garlic at the back of my throat <laughs> from that hummus. Um, and yeah. I'll catch up with you guys later. Good morning, guys. Happy Saturday. I just finished a reformer cardio session. Um, I haven't actually done Pilates in like a couple of weeks. I don't know. I think I've just been more focused on like I've been doing the arena classes instead of coming here, like in between my PT sessions, which I've really been enjoying. But yeah, I just kind of felt like because usually, well, the past couple of weeks I've had the weekends off. Like sometimes I'll go to the gym and just get my steps in if I like haven't done anything for the day um but yeah I love Pilates just like to start off my weekend so yeah I'm really glad that I came today I need to go drop off last night's orders to the post office I think they close at like 12 o'clock so I've got an hour which is good um what are we doing today oh yeah there's a thing in Perth we don't have it in Queensland but I think it's is it once a year or once or twice a year or something like that? I think there's people coming. Um, where people put like anything they don't want, just like random like junk basically on like outside their house. It's so weird to me. Like I see it and I'm like, what the fuck? Like it's so weird to me because in Queensland we don't do that. Like we just take our stuff to the tip if we don't want it. But it kind of like gives people an opportunity to like, I guess, go through the stuff, which I still find weird. <laughs> like people coming like through the streets and just like going through everyone's junk but i guess like you never know someone's what's the saying someone's junk maybe someone's treasure or something like that i'm gonna go do that and put it outside because i think they come and collect it in two days like whatever people don't grab from the side of the road um a massive truck just comes and um picks up everyone's unwanted rubbish so that's what we're doing today it's going to be so good to just like get it out of the house because it's just been in the theater just like bunched up since mum was there um what else oh yeah we're going out to dinner tonight um i asked you guys on instagram for your recommendations is someone about to come up next to me no um for your recommendations on like perth restaurants yeah i saved them all but we chose a greek restaurant called Bricker or something like that so i'm super excited i'm not sure if i'll vlog but i'll make sure i take photos and like add them in um i don't usually like to vlog so much on the weekends um and like usually i bring a small bag and my camera is like massive but um i could just vlog on my phone actually um yeah not sure if i'll vlog but yeah i'm really excited to yeah dress up and just go out for dinner yeah i also want to go to like a fruit and veg market near me i think tomorrow it's on i don't think they have it on saturdays like the one that i want to go to but if we do have time i might look it up and see if there's any um markets on today but if not we'll definitely go tomorrow so i can get my um organic fruit and veg for my smoothies and just my meals for next week which i'm super excited for but that's pretty much all i have to update you guys on my skin is looking amazing apart from a couple of pimps here but like overall it just looks really hydrated and just, yeah, my skin is glowing. I'm obsessed. I don't know if it's because of the tonic that I've been taking from my naturopath or um, like my, you know, healthier eating is like kicked in and is showing on my skin. I don't know, but I'm just glowing. I don't actually have anything on. Um, I've got my um, skincare on obviously from this morning, but that is it. Yeah, I'm really happy with how my skin's looking, which is perfect timing because of the event that I have next week on the Gold Coast. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna go now. It's actually really hot in here. Why did I not have the aircon on? Um, winter what? Like, it's actually hot today, what? Um, and yeah, I will catch up with you guys later. my makeup I never usually do black in my waterline but I thought I'm wearing black so yeah it's very dramatic but I'm here for it we're just about to make well I'm just about to make some Mr. Consistent cocktails I got sent these ages ago and I haven't actually um made them myself it's always with other people 
So I'm going to crack open this. I also have an espresso martini cocktail mix, but I don't think we'll have time to have one of them. Just do two shots. Oh my God. Lethal. Right, and then I'm guessing you just add ice and shake it. I swear I had garnishes, like the dried fruit, and I can't find them. I have no idea where I would have put them. Yum, this one's a Cosmo. I mean, the dried fruit would have just made the look. Still cute though. These are so freaking good. I don't know where you can get them from, I think some shops do sell them. Um, but yeah, they're really like good macros as well. Um, well, there's actually quite a bit of sugar in this, but 57 calories um, per serve. But that's them. Come have your Cosmo. Good morning, guys. So dinner was really nice. We ended up going to, I think I said at Bricka, which was a Greek restaurant. I'll add some photos here. But yeah, it was really good. Highly recommend. Um, and then later we went to, I think it was called Lucky Chance. It was like a Japanese, like it looked like a laundromat from the outside. It was really cool. And it was three stories. You could eat there. Um, but we went to the rooftop and had a few drinks and then we came home. But I thought I would end this vlog here and continue if I do end up vlogging the rest of today. I'll have it in next week's vlog because we're going to go to the fruit and veggie market. Um yeah nearby today so if we are successful i will show you guys a little haul when i get home but i thought i would end this vlog here so i can start uploading it so i don't have the same problem as i did last week so thank you guys so much for watching and i will see you guys next week bye